Hello everyone and welcome to another Infinox MT4 tutorials video on how to use the platform. In this video we're going to talk about how to organize your charts on MT4. We're going to talk about opening charts, customizing them, saving templates and arranging charts as well. So there's lots to get through so let's get on with it. So we're going to start off with something very basic which is uh, wanting a new chart. Now I've got four charts open at the moment, I'd like a fifth one open. So there are a few different ways of doing it. You can go to the file menu at the top and click new chart. You can go to the little symbol underneath the file menu, which is also create a new chart. And also you can do it through the symbols list as well. Right hand click over the symbol and then chart window. That brings you up my fifth chart. Now I want to arrange those charts. Now we can have the, uh, the charts in all manner of different orders. You can change the sizing. Um, you can have all the different arrangements you'd like. Let's change some of the sizings just to show you. Now that's all a bit higgledy-piggledy, isn't it? So let's have an auto arrangement. Now you can do it a couple of ways. You can click on this symbol at the top, which automatically fits all the, all the charts to their size. Or you can have it just actually by maximizing the chart and then you've got the navigation through the five tabs here at the bottom. You can do that. Now, I don't like this chart. I don't like the green color scale at all. So I'd like to change that. I'm going to customize my chart how I would like it. So I'm going to do a right hand click on the chart, scroll down to properties, click on properties, Go to colors and change, we're on a bar chart, so I want to change the bar up and bar down colors. I like a nice yellow color for my charts. Yellow on black, I like that color scheme. So we click on OK. And we've now got our nice color scheme there. Now, the chart also, I think, needs to be zoomed in, so you can zoom in and out using the plus and minus magnifying glasses nicely zoomed in there but also I like to have my price data not right up against the uh, price axis as well so I'm going to click on this symbol here at the top which shifts the price action away from that axis and we've got this little arrow at the top which is a chart shift and you can hold that down with your mouse button and then move it to where you'd like it to be so I like it to be quite close but not right up against it now the other thing is, you can scroll through this price data, but you notice that it keeps flicking back to the end date. And that's because this click option here is on. If you get rid of that, then you can just scroll through and see what the um, historic price action is. If you want to get back to the price end date, click on that once and you go straight back to the price end date. Okay, so I've got the price display sorted out, but I would like some indicators now. So, right, we're going to add an indicator. So we go to insert, indicators, I would like a moving average. So that is a trend indicator, moving average, add in a moving average. And there we have an indicator and the price action uh, display that I would like it to be. And I, I now like that as a template and I want to save it so I can reproduce it. So we go to right hand click, Go to template, save template, give it a name, save that template. And I now know that if I open a new chart, I can add that template by doing right hand click, template, and I've got my templates list here. One, two, three, four, five. And it brings in the template. Okay, so we've got all these charts here, so let's just sort them out here with the auto profile. And what we can do now is to save the profile, go up to File, Profiles, Save As. I'm going to save that as My Profile. Okay, and where you have the Profiles section, this now comes up here as my profile and you can flick between different profiles that you've saved previously and the current one I'm on is this one that I've just saved. 